Hey guys, and welcome back to Adventures of Minecraft. We're down on Juicy Farm. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, so last time we worked on a hut by here. I finished it at the end of uh, the episode, but off camera I just pimped it up a little bit. I'll take you inside. I've done the floor now. I actually went and travelled and I got some... Uh, s no, not spruce wood, this stuff uh, by here, birch trees, and I put some saplings here. So I did half the floor in, like, um, birch, and I did half the floor in sandstone, and yeah, this place is coming along nice. Oh yeah, the carpet too, the grey carpet, I put them along the top by here. Um, I don't know, it just makes the counter look so nicer with this carpet across there. Possibly in a different colour would all, will, will <coughs> be very nice. Put everything away, all nice, all nicely stored, and I've got my goodies in this chest by here, all my best stuff. But um, we have run into a situation where we have run out of food. Um, I didn't bring any raw carrots with me, any raw potatoes. Um, the only food I can think of at the moment is wheat, but I want to keep the wheat for the horses. And um, let me just show you around here, it's going to get night time soon, so we're going to go to sleep and then we're probably going to start working on a new project. Um, I've made a huge sugarcane farm all along here because, as you know, the horses like sugarcane. Um, they like apples, they like wheat too to breed. But um, putting things into sort of perspective, um, I'm low on food. This is my only horse saddle I have. Um, I'm low on wheat. Um, so I seriously need a big resource um, gathering sort of mission today, guys. Um, and one thing that I promise I'm going to do today is breed. Well, I can't promise it because I need another saddle. But if we do find another saddle, I promise you that we're going to breed a donkey and a horse. And see if we can get a mule. And that's... Can we sleep yet? One other thing that I was contemplating is that actually taking a horse mining with me. Yep, taking a horse mining. But not the one we got here because he's the only one we have with a saddle. So uh, we're going to have to go mining ourselves at the moment. So we're going to use this and we'll use some breaking pick with efficiency 2. Uh, we could possibly take... Let's take 4 iron and some wood. We'll take the jungle planks. Okay, so it's pretty much a resource gathering episode today so we can sort of lay back and sort of talk about whatever comes to mind. Okay, so before we go though, I want to... Where's my hoe? Oh, I've got it. I want to put these seeds down. I want to grab my bow. Okay, and we could possibly make... Do I, do I have another crafting bench? No. One, two, three, four. We'll take another crafting bench with us too. I love how it crafts like that. It's so amazing. <clears throat> just make sure I'm not on peaceful. Nope. I was just in my creative world doing a creative episode, so um, I put on peaceful over there just to make sure that no mobs are spawning and would ruin my footage. I just finished recording some Jet Set Radio 2 for the channel, and uh, the game crashed nine seconds before I finished uh, one of the levels. <laughs> so I was like, no! So what I did, I managed to edit something in at the end, just to explain what happened. That was so frustrating though. I think it was because I was rendering a video at the same time as recording another one. So if you can imagine it, I've got my hard drive that's got data being pulled off it at the same time as data being written on it. Plus playing Minecraft. So that doesn't help. You and you. I can hear a zombie by here. Yes. I think this is where the cave was. But we're going to go to a different cave. We might as well... Oh, let's grab some torches before we head out. And then let's go and find a cave. Um, something else I want to do around here is make a proper paddock. So, like an outdoor storage area for horses. I think that is going to be on the cards. On the cards. Take 15 coal. We're bound to find more coal. Um... Take some more of this. Take some more wood too. Okay, so let's go. And let's talk about something rather topical. 
Um, I was I've been watching Minecraft UHC recently, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, if you don't want any sort of spoilers, I just skip a minute or two. But I've been really enjoying it. Um, if you know a video Zen who's kind of new to the server, or you kind of He's not new to the server, he's kind of rejoined the server, I guess. Um, he did really well, he did a nice... an epic bit of action with the lava. <clears throat> That's when someone goes to attack you when you put a bucket of lava down in front of them so they end up stepping in it and catching on fire. That was really awesome. I'm sure there was a cave around here. Quite close. Talking about lava, there was lava over there and I was concerned about the horses actually walking in it and their derpiness, so I covered it up. And something else about horses is that if you go in water with them, um, you can't get back on them. You you fall off your horse. Are you hearing the zombie? I'm sure I heard one. Yeah, you fall off your horse, and your horse kind of sinks to the bottom on its own. And I was like, what the hell? Really frustrating me. Um, that was my horse, by the way. He almost died. He fell into something like this and he kept on going down and he stayed there for a while and he'd come back up and then he'd go back down in the water again. Come on, there's a cave down here. There must be. There must be a cave. Look how many horses there are though. This is quite abnormal. <clears throat> there's definitely a cave around here. Hmm. One of my ideas for the donkeys, because you can put like a chest on them so they have their own inventory. I was thinking about making like a cave in donkey. I thought that would be a really awesome idea just to take a donkey cave in with you. But I need the additional saddle, so am I really hungry as well now? Damn. There's a cave down here? Yes, finally. Whoa! Oh, that bat frightened the shit out of me. Oh, damn. It looks like we're going to have to just dig down and hope that we find a cave. I thought this cave was going to have much more in it, but obviously not. Never mind. This continue almost going downwards. I got smooth lighting turned off. Um, I can't really notice it. I think it's turned off. Yeah, I've got it turned off. You can't really... Notice it, it's kind of weird. Maybe medium lighting's on. Or maybe because I've been messing around with Optifine and stuff recently, I just can't. I just can't tell the difference. <clears throat> I feel. <re> <laughs> I'm actually recording this in the morning too, and I'm really tired. It's unbelievable. I've done a load of videos this morning too. It's, it's weird how it takes it out of you, this constant uh, narration, commentary. It's kind of weird. And your mouth always gets really dry too. That's something that really happens to me. Terrible. Absolutely disgraceful. I wonder if he will bump into a cave. We could meet up with the cave we went in when we first arrived at this area. I would like to find something though because... Um, the sooner I can make a connection back to my old base the better because... I'm really starting to think that I'm going to struggle with finding... <laughs> I can hear a, a bat, there must be a cave. Like, finding resources, like food, I mean, like... <clears throat> back home at my main base, I've got so much stuff there, like... I've got so much meat and beef and everything, it's crazy. Hello? This is where I get owned, I think. I've got good armor on, though. Okay, there's a light down there. Let's see if I got my brightness turned up. Yep. Ooh. Take that in your face, bitch. Whoa, no! You try to blow up on me. Put you here, put you on the hotbar. Okay, we're going to do it to UHC style. We're just going to patch this up. For now, and then just start stripping the caves. Damn. 
And then I might as well just use this iron pick for the sake of it. Yeah. I see light. Anyone here? Gold! Whoa, zombie, I can make a golden apple now. Oh, zombie, drop me a potato, please. A raw potato would be epic right now. Let's turn this into torches, all of it. We should make over a stack. No, it didn't make over a stack. Throw my sticks on the floor. Oh, very cool. Okay, so there's gold up there, but we don't really need none. It's kind of cool going on these cave adventures, though. I haven't been on one in a long time now. Oh, have I been down this way before? Ownage! Oh yeah, that is how you take out a bunch of creepers. They didn't do too much damage though. Enderman. Hello, Zomble. It's like a big hole above me. I can hear a slime. Does this sort of loot in? No. Maybe zombies drop more than one flash now. I didn't know that. Oh, this cave goes on. Holy mo mokes, Moses. Okay. Souls at the ready. Take that, bitch. I guess. Whoa. Whoa. He's gotta be low on health, this guy. <laughs> I kind of fidgeted a little bit then. Come on, creeper, die. Hmm. I can hear mobs all around. Get some more coal. I could seriously see myself starting up a um, an enchanting table too at this new base. This is going to be like a home away from home, because we're we're in the perfect place for horses to spawn. I don't know if they continue spawning after you load a chunk and you just have to like pour up with what what you already found there. I have no idea, but. It's a perfect spot. I really do like it too. So I can really see myself making some awesome stuff there in the future. But um, yeah, we're after the Ender Dragon though in this series, so <clears throat> we're gonna have to go back on back onto the the old linear storyline at some point. But an idea I did have oh no, an idea I did have was to take a pimped up horse to defeat. There must be a spawner somewhere. Damn. Whoa, he hit me. All I can hear is orgasmic zombie sounds. Yeah, a load. here oh this is crazy get in the water yeah 
Yeah, I think they're pimping at Minecraft too. I keep forgetting I'm doing commentary. I'm like falling into some sort of trans Minecraft trance. I think it's because I'm really tired. That must be it. Damn. Okay, so food. What are we going to do for food? We need a raw potato. That is prioritar. Raw potato or a carrot from a zombie. Um, I'm trying to think whether I found like an NPC village on my way here. Where are you? Ooh! Take it in the face! Okay, he's dead. Yeah, I'm trying to think whether I found like an NPC village on my way here. Let me out. And I don't think I have. I think my strafe. Well, that didn't work. Okay, concentrate. I think my best chance is, is to get some obsidian, make a portal. Strafe. Creeper, take them out. I just jumped straight past him. It feels like Minecraft has got a little bit darker too. Because I can't really see much. And I've noticed that in other people's videos too. It's just gone really dark. Anything behind here? I think my best bet in getting food though, like I said, was prob is probably to get obsidian, make a portal, go somewhere, spawn out of it, scour the land for an NPC village. I've got ha almost half a stack of iron already. Or possibly find a dungeon. Hmm. Or find some cows, and I haven't seen any cows really. You can't eat horse meat though, unless you're from Aberystwyth. Um, yeah, so we're kind of we're in a situation at the moment. Some more torches. So sticks too here. <clears throat> Look at all the arrows in me too. Come from okay. Anyone in here? Whoa, no, I saw a bow drop. Okay, back myself into a corner. Oh, spider. I can see a bow glitching in the water. I want it. Sand. Mushrooms. I've got the sun coming in from my window too, so I'm kind of stressing on the str screen to see anything. Ooh. That could be interesting over there. I would rather see a spawner though. No! I tried to switch to my sword. I didn't do it fast enough. Lapis Lazuli hmm. I mean like I don't even care if I find diamonds right now I just want a raw potato That's all I'm really looking for 
I don't actually have a bucket and you whoa no no ah the, oh lava right behind me that would have been terrible oh abandoned mine shaft how did I not notice Whoa, whoa, that is why people, things are falling down. More gold up there. I bet that abandoned mine shaft is riddled with nasties. And because I've been here for a while now, because it's, it's giving it time for them to spawn. Bloody bat. Oh! The bat saved me! He took an arrow in the wing knee. Okay, well, this is kind of a shit ravine thing. Really bad looking ravine. Okay, you. <coughs> okay, water, go away. Let's put you here. Okay, so we're going to have to have a bit of zombie flesh from time to time, too, just to compensate for the food situation. I may actually have to start eating melons, too, which is not going to be cool. There's some obsidian there, so that potentially is going to be a lifesaver for us. If we do decide to make a portal and try and fluke an a, like a, a newly generated NPC village. my NG2. I got like 13 cooked potatoes back at the base, but those are seriously not going to last long enough. Is there anything around this lava pit? I'm kind of keeping an eye out for diamonds at the moment when I shouldn't be. Okay, let's go back up. This is not cool. Let's break this. And then break some of this obsidian. Put that back there. Whoa! Oh. That stupid enderman went into the water. Okay, let's chip away to the chip away of this obsidian and see what happens. I think we need ten pieces. Or is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of obsidian is the minimum for a portal. So that's a portal without the four corners. And if you want a totally posh portal, you just add the additional four on. So it's fourteen. I had this number in my head, sixteen for a, a a never portal for some reason. Then, no idea why. Okay, so I think we're going to have to set up a base camp. I knew I said we was going to breed a donkey and a horse to make a mule, but <laughs> um, we're kind of down here now. I think we're going to... Yeah, we'll we'll do a base camp by here, guys. And then when once we have that sorted, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Whoa! What the fuck's our Enderman doing? It's frightening the crap out of me. Is it going to die? No, it teleported. It almost died. Right, where was we? <laughs> yeah, we're going to set a base up. Smelt some iron so we can get... Um, so we can get a bucket of water just in case we want to explore some of these lava pits. Okay, good job I brought this crafting bench. We'll pop you in here. One, two furnaces, one here. Put another one down here. Half of you in there. Oh, where's the coal? Damn. Okay, we're going to have to go and look for some coal before we go then. How unfortunate is that? Break. Okay, how are we looking for the obsidian 14? So we can get a full portal if we do decide to do that. 
No, no, no. I screwed up the water now. Um, the strip mine in this direction, see where if you can get coal. Torches on the hot bar, please. Come on, I should hit coal just going straight. What level are we at? We're at level but level ten, so we're <clears throat> really low down. Here's zombies to my left. There's galleys to my right. And a frickin' Enderman still. No! Hit hit the Enderman! Oh fuck off all of you! Whoa, what the hell? <coughs> bullshit, bullshit, I call bullshit. <coughs> Damn. Whoa! Oh. I think things are starting to get really serious right now. Did I shoot myself with my own arrow just then? Okay, lapis, no, coal. Oh, this is... Mm, Minecraft, what have you done? You've, like, gone hardcore on me. Okay, coal. Let's put a final torch over here, possibly. Okay, that's dangerous, but here. Okay, we're getting this coal and we're going back and we're going to start making lava. Not lava buckets, but we're going to make a, a bucket of water because this place is the most treacherous cave I've ever been in. For sure, I haven't seen... Whoa, no! Okay, let's block this water off. See, my curiosity just keep wants me to keep going, though. I need to put one by here. Yeah, my curiosity wants me to keep looking for stuff. How much coal? 16... There's a slight slit under here. Okay, that's where I came out of. Okay, this walk around, I just don't want to... Zombie coming behind me, I can hear them everywhere. <coughs> okay, coal and gold. I bet this cave has got so much. Oh, wow! If this was UHC, man. Where are you two, you orgasmic zomble? Okay, let's block this up for now. Put you here. Hmm. You here. Okay. Yep, that zombie is really close. Okay, we're gonna put half of you in here. Half of you. And then you. Hmm. Make a chest or no? We'll pass on the chest. Who? Give me three. One. Okay, we got five. Okay, where's the water? 
See up here. It's coming sold at the ready. There he is. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, freaking heart attack! <sighs> I mean, when I first played Minecraft, I used to be really jumpy. And then I didn't then, because I just got really good at the game. And then now, I just jumpy as hell. And I have to live on zombie flesh. Until we find a good... Supply of food. Okay, guys. Oop, put that there and then take away that. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign out by here now. And, um... Ugh. In the next episode, we are going to do a little bit more exploring of this cave. Let's block that. And hopefully find some potatoes or something that will help me feel a little bit more safer working away from home because um, I can't be living on wheat and I, I want the wheat for the horses definitely want I got I got frame tearing going on too yeah I want the wheat for the horses you see and if if I try to do like a, a decent wheat farm for myself um, it wouldn't last um, because the wheat would take so long to grow, it would just be a complete and utter pain in the bum trying to trying to sort myself out that way. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm sorry if the content today has been a bit dreary. I am so tired right now. It's unbelievable. I literally just pulled an all-nighter just to do some finish some work off. So. <coughs> There you go, you get a free burp as well. <laughs> Damn. Some lapis down here. Well, there we go, we finished off with being level 30, which is kind of a awesome achievement. Put a torch down here. I think I might clear up this obsidian too, because... Um, we can get like a nice back stock of it sorted. Break. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you come back next time when we're gonna go on the hunt for the potato. I think I'll call that. I'll call this video the hunt for the potato, and we'll continue next episode. As you know, there's a mine shaft above us, so there's potential for loads of awesome stuff in there because that is a new generation in uh, Minecraft 1.6 I think this is the snapshot so there should be loads of goodies up there possibly more horse armor saddles loads of records name tags too that you can use on horses <coughs> whoa and dogs and so forth like that so uh, thanks for watching guys and I shall be seeing you soon with some more adventures of Minecraft so peace out